This episode of Smyrna Today is brought to you by Front Street Sign Company. Quality you can count on. Good morning, Bulldogs. Today is Friday, March 24th. And this is Smyrna Today. I'm Taylor Terry. And I'm Vanna Gruer. And tickets for prom are now on sale for juniors and seniors for $55 in the Bulldog Bank. You can buy online by scanning the QR code and you must fill out a ticket request form. Practices for the flag color guard will be held on Tuesdays after school from 4 to 6. No previous experience is necessary. See Mr. Lutz, Mr. Wright, or a current member for more information. And now for our new segment, Conspiracy Theories with Vanna and Val, where they discuss the Mandela Effect. What up, Bulldogs? Welcome to Conspiracy Theories with Vanna and Val. I'm Vanna. I'm Val. And today we'll be discussing the Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect is an observed phenomenon in which a large segment of the population misremembers a significant event or shares a memory of an event that did not happen. This phenomenon started because a researcher described the false memory of the death of Nelson Mandela, a large population sharing the memory that he had died in the 1980s in prison when in reality he was very alive until 2013. The Monopoly Man in his monocle. That's, that's crazy. I, the Monopoly Man has monocle. a monocle, but apparently he never did. And I don't know, I played Monopoly, not good. I never actually played by the rules. I rarely played it. I mean, who actually plays by the rules? Nobody wants to buy property. Yeah. So the Berenstein Bears is actually spelled with an A. It's not Berenstein. It's Beren, Berenstein. 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 That's dumb. It is kind of dumb. That's dumb. Uh, Curious George never had a tail. Yeah, I was I was a real Curious George fan. Not a real Curious George fan. I would George know this. Fan. He never had a tail. The Fruit of the Loom cornucopia. Did I stand by this? It oh had the gosh. cornucopia. No, my brother had Fruit of Loom. My dad had Fruit of Loom. Like the socks. Every like I remember the packaging because I was like, what the heck is that thing? And they're like, it's mm -hmm. a cornucopia. And I said, that sounds dumb. It had, it had to be real. It had. To. It had. It's. I mean, simply like I think that. So, Mandela effects, they're fun and all, but to be honest, all it is is just old people not paying attention and people in general just being crappy at spelling. I'm dyslexic, so I I think I have an excuse. But, I mean, it isn't different universes, but Americans being in Americans and having crappy memories, except for the Monopoly Land and the Fruit of Looms. I will die on that hill. And this has been Conspiracy Theories with V Squared. The truth is out there. Softball will be the only team competing today as they enter day two of the Warrior Classic at Riverdale. Stay tuned for a time. The baseball team hosted Spring Hill on Monday night, winning the game 7-0. Starting pitcher Nikki Baswell scattered six hits over four innings, striking out four, and Donovan Peoples finished the game allowing no hits over the last two innings. Catcher Jonathan Stewart had three hits, including a double and a homer while driving in two runs. Donovan Peoples and TJ Sims had two RBIs each. And now for Word on the Street, where you, the students, bring us the news. What are you doing for spring break? What am I doing for spring break? Well, actually, I just got a job at Raising Canes. We're about to do a grand opening Thursday the 23rd, and then next week I'm going to be working all week. Uh, I'm going to the University of Memphis on a visit, and I'm going to Austin P on a visit and UT Martin on a visit. Wow, congratulations. And what are the last four numbers of your social security? What do you plan on doing for spring break? Just watching a lot of baseball, probably. And what topping do you believe deserves to be on pizza? Oh, uh, pepperoni and jalapenos. What will you be doing for spring break? I am taking my son to go visit Alabama University and um, Auburn University. And then we are going to Atlanta for him to take an advanced driver course through uh, Ford. What are you doing for spring break? Working. What is your social security number? Um, getting a nose surgery. I'm going on a cruise. I'm playing softball the whole entire time. What is your favorite color? What is my favorite color? Uh, blue. I will probably, every day at sunny, try to play golf. For spring break, I plan on working. I'm probably going to Oh yeah, I'm going through Ramadan, if anyone knows what that is. It's basically I'm fasting for a month. Um, I'm not going to be eating or drinking from sunrise to sunset. And it's like an Islamic holiday, which is fun on like the first day because it's cool. Yeah, good luck. And what is your favorite piece of furniture? 
Ottoman. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to spend a lot of time at home. I think I'm going to work on my garden because it really needs it. But I'm definitely going to sleep in and eat pizza and stuff like that. Sounds fun. And what is your favorite piece of furniture? My favorite piece of furniture, um, I guess, would have to be my recliner. That sounds so exciting. We hope you have a great spring break, Bulldogs. And this has been Smyrna Today. I'm Taylor Terry. And I'm Vanna Guru. And don't forget to make today your Bulldog, Bulldog best. Stay updated with the latest at SHS by subscribing to the Smyrna High School YouTube channel and by following SHS Productions on Twitter.